Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Arcana playing cards from Chris Avinenko and Dead on Paper. If you'd like to learn more about this deck or any of Chris's decks, you can visit him at deadonpaper.com. This project was a Kickstarter release. It was done in two versions. It was done in a light and a dark. And for the sake of our video review, we'll look at the light version because it might show up just a little bit better on camera. Okay, so the theme behind the Arcana deck is of course the tarot deck of cards. Uh, tarot cards are often used in divination in trying to uh, reveal either the past or the future about a certain person using cards. Of course, you can use a standard deck of playing cards, a standard deck of 52 uh, for divination. Uh, when you do that, it's called cardomancy. Uh, and so what Chris has done is he's taken the traditional 1910 Rider Waite Smith tarot deck and kind of married it with the standard deck of playing cards and what you have is arcana. The tuck case is beautifully done on pearlescent paper. Uh, it's a really nice stock and it also has a lot of embellished embossings. Uh, all throughout, you're going to see just kind of all kinds of mystic symbols and ancient spiritualism, uh, things that tie back in to the Rider Waite deck. Uh, it does say Arcana down here at the bottom, tarot playing cards. One side of the deck says Arcana, the other side says tarot playing cards. The bottom of the tuck case has some ad copy about deadonpaper.com. Also, right here on the tuck flap, you'll see uh, a Latin inscription. Uh, roughly translated, it means as above, so below. And on the inside, you'll see that it's been beautifully uh, lined with a metallic blue color. And the inside tuck flaps have the infinity symbol. And the top of the tuck case says Arcana Tarot Playing Cards. Uh, there is no tuck seal, which is cool. I like that. It keeps the artwork on the tuck intact. And the back design of the tuck case is, of course, the back design of the cards. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards come from the United States Playing Card Company, and they do come on their retail stock. They do have a traditional cut and modern embossing and a magic finish. And if you'd like to learn more about stock cut or finish, you can click the link below in the description. The back design of the card has a frame around it, thus making your border. And it is the tree of life symbol there in the center. It is a one-way back design. Uh, you can see that the tree of life has a kind of full plumage, kind of in bloom uh, side. And then the other side is a little bit more haunting, a little bit more sparse. I don't know if it's quite dead, but it does symbolize a different side. It could be uh, light and dark is what I'm guessing. Also, the stars on the lighter side are a little bit less pronounced. The stars on the darker side are thicker and more pronounced. Because this is a tarot playing card deck, uh, Chris had to pay tribute to both the suits that are in the tarot and the suits that are in a standard deck of cards. So whereas a standard deck of cards would have spades, um, Chris has also come up with the other side having the sword icon. Uh, your clubs are going to be uh, married with the wands. Your hearts are gonna be coupled with the cups and your diamonds are gonna be married with the pentacles. And then of course, each of the pip and indice cards uh, carry both of the pips in the four corners. Uh, Chris has redone all the pips and indices. And then the background of each card has a little bit of scratch work uh, watermark behind uh, just to kind of make it look old and rustic. Also, because this is a tarot card tribute, uh, Chris removed all the gaffs and all the jokers from the deck and then replaced them with four of the Rider Waite cards that are probably used the most, have the most power, have the most weight in a reading. Those cards would be the Lovers and the Fool and the Tower and the Death card. Chris has also hand-drawn and re-hand illustrated every single court card in the deck. Each court, each king, each jack, each queen is completely unique and uh, looks really close to the art and style from the Rider Waite Smith tarot deck. All right, so that is my review of the Arcana deck. Like I said, if you'd like to learn more, you can visit Chris Avinenko at deadonpaper.com. As always, we recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. Now, if you wanna follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, and instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. Thanks, bye.